Hey everyone, Aaron from Aaron's Co. here, showing you how to assemble your brand new Aaron's Crossover Snow Throw. If you purchase your snow throw through a national retail chain store this season, it could show up like this, in the same crate that we boxed it up in at our factory in Brilliant, Wisconsin. And though I'm certain the thought of some assembly required isn't the most appealing, I'm here to walk you through the easy step-by-step -step assembly instructions. And trust me, if I can do this, so can you. So as long as you have your gloves and your safety goggles ready, let's get started. Open the crate while being careful not to cut yourself on the staples that are through the crate and remove the staples. Remove the cardboard inserts from the top of the crate. Locate the discharge chute and remove the setup guide that's in the envelope either adhered to the chute or inside the chute. Each snow throw comes with a pictorial assembly guide that can be referenced when assembling this unit. These instructions are a duplicate of the material we're covering in this video. You'll notice the setup guide calls out a few tools. For this procedure, you'll need a socket wrench, a 1 half inch socket, a 9 16 inch socket, and a cutting tool. Remove the discharge chute and set it aside. Temporarily remove the chute cleanout tool from the top of the housing, remove the cardboard insert from on top of the housing, and return the cleanout tool to its holder. Then continue removing the remaining corrugate inserts from the crate. Cut the crate's edges so its walls collapse. Remove the walls from the crate base to reduce the tripping hazard and to give yourself easier access to the unit. Loosen the handlebar wing knobs enough so the bolt heads disengage from the handlebars. Once loose, rotate the handlebars into their operating position, tighten the wing knobs, and ensure the handlebars are secure. Remove the packaging material from the handlebars. Pull the control lever to check the cable tension. The cable should be taut when the control lever is engaged and loose when the control lever is disengaged. If the cable tension isn't correct, the tension can be adjusted. Whether or not the cable tension needs to be adjusted, cut the cable tie on the top of the cable adjustment plate at the rear of the unit. To adjust the cable tension, disengage the cable from the adjustment plate and remove the Z-hook from its position in the plate. To add cable tension, insert the Z-hook through a lower hole on the adjustment plate. As you can see, the cable is taut while the control lever is engaged and while it's released. This is too much tension, so we'll reduce the cable tension by repositioning the Z-hook into a higher hole on the adjustment plate. Again, if the cable is loose when the control lever is released and is taut when the control lever is engaged, the cable tension is correct. Remove the hardware sets through the discharge chute mounting bracket.
Install the discharge chute with the chute pedestal positioned in the mounting bracket. Align the holes in the chute pedestal with the holes in the mounting bracket, reinstall the hardware removed earlier and tighten the hardware. Move the chute rotation handle and the deflector handle to ensure the chute and deflector move easily. Remove the auger gear case fill plug and check that the gear case has oil. Gear case oil is dark red and should appear on the bottom of the plug. If no gear case oil is present, set this unit aside and contact Aaron's customer support. If oil is present in the gear case, reinstall the fill plug and tighten. Push down on the handlebars to lift the housing and slowly move the unit off the pallet. The higher you raise the housing, the easier it is to move the unit. Remove the oil fill plug from the engine to ensure the unit has oil. Wipe the plug clean, reinsert it and remove it once more to check that the correct amount of oil is in the unit. Then reinstall the fill plug and tighten. Remove the plastic and any other packaging material from the unit and remove the literature pack. The literature pack contains your operator's manual, engine manual, and other important resources. See, I told you that was going to be easy. Now if you notice any quality issues with your snow throw, such as damage or missing parts, please contact the retailer where you purchased your unit from for replacements. Also, it's very important that you register your brand new snow throw with us at errands.com forward slash registration. For help registering your unit, find the product registration tutorial video on the Errands YouTube channel. And finally, if you like this video and want to see more helpful content from Errands, click on the subscribe button to be notified whenever we share a new video on servicing or using your brand new snow throw on the Errands YouTube channel.